What's going on everybody? Matt back here with the video. Pretty big updates what's been going on. So uh, we ain't in Arizona no more. We don't have the mod light anymore. But we are in Florida. Kind of about 15, 20 minutes from where Hunt the Front's at. We got a new house, new shop, and new race car. So we got in here about three days ago. I'm starting to get everything put away and organized. I got a lot of cleaning I got to do on this shop. But there's the car. It's a 13 BWRC. Bought it race ready about a month and a half ago from a guy out of Phoenix City, Alabama. Uh, we run in the 602 crate class. You know, I was really interested in getting this class. It's one I love late models. It's my dream to own one. Yeah, this ain't no super, but I'm living my dream having a shop in the late model. Uh, and two, the price of the 602 class is uh, pretty decent. You know, I can afford to be competitive in it. So that's the reason why we went with this class. And I found this good deal. This car has got a lot of good parts on it. I probably got a lot more money in my car than a lot of the 602 racers out there. Um, but this time around, I ain't gonna get out spent like I did in the Mod Light. I was very competitive in the Mod Light, but that car was 15 years old. I didn't really have good shocks on it. I was running off the shelf Philistines for the most part. But anyways, this car is gonna be one competitive car. Now I spent quite a quite a lot of money on this car. I did sell my house in Arizona. That's what helped fund this new house and this race car. Uh, the housing market is just absolutely ridiculous right now. So I made quite a lot of money off that in about eight months. I do have some taxes, some capital gain taxes. But uh, I ain't gonna get into all that. So as you can see, we're getting this shop organized. Keep you guys around here. Um, this is, I just got this desk kind of cleaned off. I started putting more crap on it. We got our TV out here. We watched some dirt on dirt, some flow racing. Uh, I got my welder sitting here. In here, I kind of wish I had some more shelves. These are just cabinets. Uh, I've got lots of storage in this, in this shop here, but uh, trying to keep all the race car stuff in this shop because it's detached from the house. Uh, do you got a spring smasher here? This is that inner comp one. It's like 1800 bucks going late my racing You have to have a load machine uh, I think I'm gonna build a new one. So look out for a future video of that all it pretty much is is a $500 $400 ish load cell off of eBay and you can use an electronic trailer jack builds you your stand uh, You can get a good load reading. I'm pretty sure that's what all the off-brand load machines are you know, aside from like the Weir's machine and stuff. But I got this one to get started with because we need one. It's got the hydraulic pump, hand pump. It fits in my enclosed trailer, which is good. The Weir's machine doesn't. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, my open trailer. This fits in my open trailer front compartment. But yeah, it should treat us good. Should get the job done for now. Coming on down over here, got our fuel stuff. This shop is heated and cool. It's insulated. It's got the spray foam and then they, I guess, made it flat and stuck this these uh sheets of plywood on the wall uh but i think i might do drywall in the future but that's a pretty big project and the shop's pretty big and it works how it is now anyways got my tools here they might not stay here i'm gonna get to work in the garage i got a lot to do uh to the car before we go racing hopefully next weekend um but that's kind of where i just set them for now the old guy left me this air compressor that's pre-plumbed I got a reel up here. I got a couple QDs in the corners, and so I got plenty of shop air. And I got a reel inside this build room here. Uh, the former owners own Cressu Auto and or, or a diesel and auto repair. They're gonna be on my quarter panel. Gonna hang a new body on this car this week. Gonna go pick up some sheet metal maybe later today. Uh, well, I gotta call and see if they got enough sheets. But uh, anyways, sheet metal break here. This is a pain in the butt to move across country. Let me tell you. That's when you just got your girlfriend helping you. Got some storage, got a charger, some oil and stuff there. Now over here, got some more cabinets. I really ain't got nothing in them yet. Um, another little workbench shop. But uh, two bays. Uh, this could be a third car here if you didn't have much crap. But this was his build room. This is where he built some motors. He had like a parts cleaner sitting in here. Um, and he had, uh, I think his lathe and stuff over here because he did motor work. But in here, it's pretty bare, empty. I got a bunch of house stuff. This is pretty much where all my house tools are gonna be, just because I don't want to be getting this shop dirty with a bunch of sawdust and whatnot. Got a mini split over there on the wall, more cabinets, another shop reel, and he's got the 
the stereo he left me all around, which is nice. Poxy floor. Um, I, I definitely stole this house, I think. It's a little far from the base, but it's closer to all the dirt tracks. You know, Southern and Northwest Florida Speedway is only 15, 20 minutes away. We're gonna walk on out here and show you guys the house. So here's this look at the front of the shop. Got my mower sitting there, I just got done mowing. Pretty big shop. Got the house here. We don't really tour that, it's still kind of a mess. But we're gonna go walk over this thing, this open trailer we got. So this open trailer that we got, my dad found it, 3,000 bucks. Sent him some money to go pick it up. It's got a winch on it, uh, dual axle. I don't need a load tire. This trailer is actually illegal. It's too wide. Um, it's like really wide. So, cause you can fit a late model on here with no load tire and you still got wheels on each side of it. So we're definitely a little bit illegal there, but still get the job done so I can get some money together and get an enclosed trailer, but I need to get a bigger truck for that. My little 50 F-150 does pull this thing though with the car on it. Cause we came all the way from Mississippi with it. No issues. Here's the compartment, got the winch in there. I gotta clean this all up. I'm getting ready to pull this around and pressure wash it right there. Cause I just got done pressure washing the mower. Uh, it's got a solar charger up front. Got a little light up in there. You know, it's perfect for what we need for now. Just getting in this late model stuff. I'd rather put more money into the car than trailer getting there. But I'm gonna put some new wheels and tires on it. Maybe do some trailer brakes to just help with the, help with my little truck. But yeah, it's, it's dirty. I, I got dirty coming here, leaving my dad's property there in Mississippi, but not bad for 3,000 bucks. It did, it'll do the job. There's the rest of the house. So we got a little she shed with the AC unit in it. And then we got a little car port for more parking. We might put a boat or something there. And we got a, uh, a pool and a hot tub back here with a 55 inch TV on the wall. We'll be watching some racing from the hot tub. But yeah, I'm excited for it. So I'm gonna get back in this shop. I got a little bit more to do. I'm gonna pull that trailer up front and pressure wash it with the GoPros yelling at me that it's, it's low on battery. So uh, we gotta get you guys charged up for some future videos this week when we hang a new body on the car. And then hopefully we'll be getting a wrap in soon. Might be rocking those duct tape numbers for this weekend. Plan is to hopefully make Southern Raceway on September 11th. It'd be really cool. Uh, it's a pretty big day, honestly, September 11th, with everything that's going on. I got five friends overseas right now dealing with a bunch of these refugees. And, uh, you know, I probably would have gone and helped somewhere if I wasn't in the middle of PCSing. Cause like I said, I left Luke Air Force Base. I'm now at Eglin Air Force Base. Doing the same job, working on the F-35, but I'd, my, mad respect goes out for everybody who's ever dealt with anything overseas. I ain't had the opportunity to go yet, but I really want to. Um, I really haven't done nothing worth taking for in my career yet, but uh, it's it's a hard time for everybody uh, with this whole deal going on with the whole withdrawal. But uh, we're gonna end on a positive note. Let you guys see the race car one last time before we start yanking body panels off of it and getting it ready to go. Got to mount my seat in there. I just got a kind of tent installed. Uh, but other than that, mount, put a body on it, go through setup, smash these shocks, see where they're at. I uh, got a hold of BWRC, he sent me some setup sheets to run and, you know, I don't want to go crazy with setup because it was set up pretty good. I got a couple gears. I think the biggest thing is finding a good gear for these tracks around here. Nobody really wants to tell me what they're really running, but that's all right. We'll get her going. Till next time, fellas. I appreciate y'all watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and... We'll see you.